Hello folks and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at an acoustic version of Future Days by um, Pearl Jam, but Eddie Vedder did it on his recent um, album for the kind of at home sessions. So um, I thought it'd be a fun one to look at. Let's crack on and have a look, shall we? So start with a C chord. Leave all that ring out, but take your first finger off and then you're going to do a... And then you're going to start the melody line, right? So... Little finger on the third fret on the B. First finger on the back to where it is for the C shape, right? And then the open G. So again. Change to an F, which is just three, two, one in this case. You could do the whole thing. To you. I'm just using the top part of it to be honest. Now Eddie there does do a bit of a pause so you'll hear like that right but I'm playing it because it's just easier to get that into your head first. So the second bar is and with the picking pattern don't worry too much he does a lot of this. Does a lot of that stuff, right? And just to fill out the um, the chords. So pretty straightforward. Then you do a take your second finger off and hammer back on, and at that point you take your second and third fingers off to go back to the C, right? So again. simple bit of arpeggiation. So the whole thing slowly. Three, four. And when you get more comfortable with it, you can start adding some dynamics. So the root notes should be softer, okay? So when you play this. You want to make the, the third fret there softer, so. Okay, so some of those notes are coming out louder than others, all right? Um, then there's a subtle variation where he abandons that little melody and plays this. doing there is playing a C chord but without your second finger so you want to hit that pretty hard with your second finger and then you do some more arpeggiation slowly back to the F it's pretty similar same as the first time around really and you got this other fill It's just C. Take your second finger off and play the open D. And then when you hammer back on your second finger, you play the bottom part of that C chord three times. Okay. And just do that with a normal strumming motion. Chorus is cool. It goes between and then F to C. Another run down, this time you go to the A minor. With that F C again, right? But obviously there's some picking in there as well. So that goes like this. back to the verse okay so let's break that down so you start with the bottom half of the C take your second and your third fingers off and move your second finger to the second fret on the A and then you arpeggiate what's left okay
and to the F. Quite a specific rhythm though, which is one, two, three, and then you put your little finger on the third fret on the E. And then to C. With a bit of bit of picking, okay? And then the second time you're gonna play. Again, slowly. I'm not doing anything weird and wonderful there, it's just simple chords that my right hand's just picking out in a strummy pattern, right? So which is down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay. Doesn't matter what you hit, right? Just get that. Okay. And then to an F. Now coming out of the second chorus into the middle eight, there's an extra bar of C. And you're gonna add your little finger onto the onto the third fret on the E string as well, right? So that would go like this. Okay, and it's up, 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 down, up, down. And then into the middle eight chords, they are pretty straightforward. G, A minor, G, C, G, A minor, F, G, and then G7. So it goes like this. Okay, um, and the ending is just an F to a C. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed that one. See you again soon. Bye-bye.